I'm going to try to make it shorter than I that I started the last time. Wanted to share information, some news articles, and that I've found about Planet Nine or Planet X, showing that they scientists do believe that it is out there, and we haven't seen it yet. But it's definitely perturbing uh, Neptune and Uranus, and it's coming from underneath. So they know where it's at. They're not exactly sure of its exact orbit or when it will come by, but they do believe that it orbits the sun, and their estimates are anywhere from 3,600 years to 20,000 years. So they're not exact on its speed, its motion around the sun, and exactly when and if we'll see it. But I wanted to share, first of all, the prophecy of the end time here in Daniel. At that time, Michael shall stand up, the great prince who stands watch over the sons of your people, and there shall be a time of trouble such as never was since there was a nation, even to that time. And at that time your people shall be delivered, everyone who is found written in the book. And many of those who sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake, some to everlasting life, some to shame and everlasting contempt. Those who are wise shall shine like the brightness of the firmament, and those who turn many to righteousness like the stars for and ever and ever. But you, Daniel, shut up the words and seal the book until the time of the end. Many shall run to and fro, and knowledge shall increase. So we know one of the signs of the end is that knowledge will increase. Then I, Daniel, looked, and there stood two others, one on this side of the river bank and the other on the that river bank. And one said to the man clothed in linen who was above the waters of the river, How long shall the fulfillment of these wonders be? Then I heard the man clothed in linen who was above the waters of the river, who was when he held up his right hand and his left hand to heaven, and swore by him who lives forever that it shall be for a time, times, and a half time, three and a half years. And that's the time of the second half of the tribulation, the great tribulation. And when the power of the holy people has been completely shattered, all these things shall be finished. Although I heard, I did not understand. Then I said, My Lord, what shall be the end of these things? And he said, Go your way, Daniel, for the words are closed up and sealed till the time of the end. Many shall be, be purified, made white, and refined. So some, those that are hit, the Lord's, will be purified, made white, and refined. But the wicked shall do wickedly, and none of the wicked shall understand, but the wise shall understand. So we know that um, knowledge will increase in the end times, and the wise shall understand what is coming and what is going on. Here's an article from Caltech. I don't think you can argue that that's a valid source. This was from Jan the first three articles that I have, and I'll post those in my text box, show um, they're all from January 20th, 2016. So right here it says Caltech researcher researchers find evidence of a real ninth planet. So Caltech researchers have found evidence of a giant planet tracing a bizarre, highly elongated orbit in the outer solar system. The object, which the res researchers have nicknamed Planet Nine, some say Nibiru, or Planet X, has a mass about 10 times that of Earth and orbits about 20 times farther from the Sun on average than does Neptune. Okay, here's their names. I can't pronounce Mike Brown, but Constantine Badigan. They discovered planets' existence through mathematical modeling and computer simulations, but have not yet observed the object directly. Okay. It's, it says, um, features of the field of icy objects and debris beyond Neptune known as the Kuiper Belt. So it's coming from that origin up from underneath, okay? Here is National Geographic, all right? Also January 20th, 2016. Scientists find evidence for ninth planet in our solar system. Okay, um, as described Wednesday in the Astronomical Journal, 
The gravitational signature of a large lurking planet is written into the peculiar or orbits of these far-flung worlds called extreme Kuiper Belt objects. The misbehaving bodies trace odd circles around the sun that have puzzled scientists for years. Okay, and so they've witnessed things being perturbed in that region. Okay, here is an article from sciencemag.org. Astronomers say a Neptune-sized planet lurks beyond Pluto. The solar system appears to have a new ninth planet. Today, two scientists announced evidence that a body nearly the size of Neptune, but as yet unseen, orbits the sun every 15,000 years. So there, nobody's quite sure on its S time frame. During the solar system's infancy, the giant planet was knocked out of... Okay, that's their theories. Those must be the two. Yeah, here's the two scientists. Okay. Um, let's see. Uh -huh. All right. Almost is the same thing as the other articles. Here is sciencealert.com. Now, this one is sort of like an update to those articles from January. This is March 29, 2016. Scientists just found more evidence that Planet 9 exists in our solar system. Back in January, the astronomer who led the charge to have Pluto demoted to dwarf planet status announced that he just found evidence that a huge icy planet could be lurking on the edge of the solar system just past Neptune. So within our solar system. Mike Brown, a planetary astronomer at Caltech University, estimated that the hypo hypothetical Planet 9 appears to be circling the sun on a super elongated orbit that takes an incredible, now it's 10,000, 10,000 to 20,000 years to complete. And now thanks to a newly detected Kuiper Belt object that's acting really strange, Brown says the case for Planet 9 just got a whole lot stronger. Um, so they're going by their math, their data, their observations, and they're estimating the orbital path that that it's taking okay and they say as yet yet they haven't seen it but we know that in Revelation we're going to see it most of the events in Revelation with the seals and trumpets are and are primarily due to something happening in the atmosphere not necessarily the first five seals but after seal six and the trumpets we definitely see that it's got it has to do with something perturbing our atmosphere causing asteroids meteor showers um, polluting our water making it bitter blacking out the sun and the stars and the moon Okay, so let's look at some of those. I one okay, so I'll just go ahead and look. We see starting with the third seal. Well, second one is war. Third is scarcity or famine. It's or the economy going out. Things there's a lack of food. Fourth seal, we have death coming on the earth from. Um, the sword, hunger, with death, and the beasts of the earth. Okay? We have persecution and martyrdom with the fifth seal increasing. And then we have with the sixth seal, notice everything that happens here. This is due to a pole shift, something in our solar system coming nearer to us and causing a pole shift. So there was a great earthquake and it's going to show you how big in a second the sun became black as sackcloth of hair and the moon became like blood this can happen due to um, debris smoke smoke from fire from volcanic activity or um, just some, you know, something being in our atmosphere and blocking out the light can cause the sun to look dark and the light from the moon to look red as it's sh shining through it. 
Okay, the stars of heaven fell to the earth as a fig tree drops its late figs when it is shaken by a mighty wind. So those are meteors, and there's a lot of them. Then the sky receded as a scroll when it is rolled up. That describes what, it, what the sky would look like with a pole shift happening. And every mountain and island was moved out of its place. It says every mountain and island was moved out of its place. That's how big that earthquake was. Okay? And at this point, everybody knows that the great day of his wrath has come. Okay? In 7, I mean in chapter 8, we'll see the trumpets. Okay, the seventh seal, it's just there was uh, noises, thunderings, lightning, and an earthquake, okay, preparing the angels to sound the trumpets. The first trumpet, we have hail and fire followed mingled with blood, and they were thrown to the earth, and a third of the trees were burned up, and all green grass was burned up. Okay, so we have hail. Large quantities of hail or abnormal weather would be caused by something perturbing our atmosphere. We also have fire, which could be meteors, or it could be volcanic activity, or it could be bombs, okay, mingled with blood, and they were thrown to the earth, and a third of the trees were burned up, and all green grass was burned up. With the second trumpet, this is definitely an asteroid. It says something like a great mountain burning with fire was thrown into the sea, and a third of the sea became blood, and a third of the living creatures in the sea died, and a third of the ships were destroyed. The third trumpet, again, this is another asteroid. It says a great star fell from heaven, burning like a torch, or it could be a comet, and it fell on a third of the rivers and on the springs of the water. The name of the star is Wormwood. A third of the waters became Wormwood, and many die, men died from the water because it was made bitter. Water becomes bitter when it has high quantities of iron, or manganese, um, if it has high quantities of a metal or a metal oxide, and so that would definitely come in to our atmosphere, even in the air we breathe, but also contaminate the water if it were to come in on a comet or an asteroid that brought it in with it. Also, if there was something um, messing with our atmosphere and some of its dust, if it was like from Planet Nine, some of the dust around its atmosphere coming into ours. Okay, the fourth trumpet, a third of the sun was struck, a third of the moon and a third of the stars, so that a third of them were darkened, and a third of the day did not shine, and likewise the night. So this definitely could be because of this debris, um, this contamination um, coming in and making the water bitter so much in our atmosphere blocking out the light from these heavenly bodies. With the fifth trumpet, it's it's a toss-up whether um, to me because they had face of men and a tail of a scorpion, to me it sounds like it's um, helicopters spraying something maybe to help eliminate sorry the um, whatever's in the atmosphere so that it you know but it's also it torments men for five months but doesn't cause them to die okay it says they will seek death but they won't find it so it's a toss-up whether it's actual demonic entities from hell, or if it's, you know, helicopters. Sixth trumpet, the angels of the great Euphrates release um, the army of the horsemen who, two million, two hundred million, 
that were given the ability to kill men. So, and then we have the seventh trumpet. Let me go. The seventh trumpet here is the angel sounds and the hosts of heaven are giving the Lord glory. And it says, the nations were angry and your wrath has come and the time of the dead that they should be judged and that you should reward your servants, the prophets and the saints. And those who fear your name shall small and great and should destroy those who destroy the earth. So he, this is now the time where his wrath has come and he's going to reward and destroy. So at the seventh trumpet, the time has come um, that he's going to reward the prophets and the saints and those who fear his name and should and he's going to destroy those who destroy the earth. It says there were lightnings, noises, thunderings, and an earthquake and great hail. This great hail, well, there's there's so there's more hail here because of the conditions going on in the atmosphere, I believe. But we see greater hail in one of the bowl judgments. So I personally believe that we're out of here at the seventh trumpet, and that's when the rapture occurs, because here we have in Revelation 15, the prelude to the bowl judgments, we see that seven angels having the seven last plagues, for in them the wrath of God is complete. Okay, it says, after these things I looked, and behold, the temple, okay, and the temple was filled with smoke. It says, then one of the four living creatures gave to the seven angels seven golden bowls full of the wrath of God who lives forever and ever. And no one was able to enter the temple till the seven plagues of the seven angels were completed. So they were given the bowls of the Lord's wrath. And so these are actually not the seals for the most part until the, well, seals one through six are just escalations of normal things by man, okay, on the face of the earth, and the enemy using um, men to see those things come to fruition. Then the sixth seal, we see something with the atmosphere causing destruction through most of the trumpets, a couple of them are man-made or demonic in nature. So the enemy is having his heyday with some of those. Here, these are almost, some of them are similar, you know, to the plagues that the Egyptians, um, some of the plagues that the Egyptians had to endure. But this is upon the whole face of the earth from the Lord, the bulls of wrath. So we have sores um, came upon the men who had the mark of the beast. Okay, number two, the sea turns to blood and every living creature in the sea dies. Three, the fresh waters and springs became blood. Okay, the fourth, men are scorched. And this could, could be, you know, it says they were scorched um, with fire great heat. So it could be because um, it says it's from the sun, but it could be because of all the conditions in the atmosphere. Now it's like a big, you know, it's a big, it's holding in all the heat. Okay. Darkness and pain. So his, the kingdom became full of darkness and there was pain. And they still did not repent of their deeds. The Euphrates is dried up. And unclean spirits like frogs coming out of the mouth of the dragon and the mouth of the beast. And out of the mouth of the false prophet. These are demons. Okay. And the seventh bowl. The earth is utterly shaken. And so it says. Noises, thunderings, lightnings, and a great earthquake. 
a great earthquake that has not occurred since men were on the earth. So the whole world shook, and every island fled away, and the mountains were not found, and great hail fell from heaven, each hailstone about the weight of a talent. I believe that's 70 to 80 pounds. And men blasphemed God because of the plague of the hail. It was exceedingly great. So that's the end of... And then the Lord restores everything for those who serve him, for those that have repented before these bowls occurred, those that chose to believe in their creator and ask for forgiveness of their sins. So it's important that looking through these things and knowing that now science knowledge has increased to the point where they can see that there is something more to our solar system and there is something that's perturbing Neptune and if it's coming closer to us it's going to as we look through Revelation it's going to perturb our atmosphere and our planet as well right here starting with this so the Bible you know people say well you know I don't believe in the Bible well you're gonna believe it when you see these things happening and that's why I'm making this video the word already told us that knowledge will increase they found this planet by mathematic mathematical equations and physics they know that it's there they just even if they can't see it they see the effects of it we will see the effects of it when this when revelations re, the book of revelation begins to unfold i believe we're already at the you know I believe we're so close to the four horsemen, these first four seals, that the Lord is giving his final warning through many of his of the Christians today that are sharing. He I know he gave me a word that the four horsemen are we're barreling down towards the four horsemen. It's so close that you know, it's almost we need to repent and give our lives to him before it's too late. Only with him are we going to be able to have faith and remain focused on him when hard times start to occur before he does take us home. I'm going to leave a link to, um, there's a list here about events of the tribulation. So I'm going to leave a link to this, and also um, uh, some of the news articles that I've shared, but also a video about Planet X and how they feel that it's going to be here sometime between now and 2017. It's so very close, so I just wanted to show with God's Word and the news articles that are just new but God's Word's been here for 2,000 years plus how science is confirming all the things that the Word of God has already told us so we I just pray that if you're not saved you would ask the Lord to reveal himself to you show you that he's real I pray that you would, he would open your eyes and your heart to believe in him and that you would repent. Tell him you're sorry for your sins. Ask him to come into your heart and to change you and, and make you, and thank him for making you a child of God. And then study God's word, the Holy Bible, and make it, pray with, pray daily read the word, grow in the knowledge of, of who he is, 
so that you can share with others as the day, as the end approaches. God bless.